This is Voice of Africa Radio, 94.3 FM. This is Voice of Africa Radio, 94.3 FM. I want to say good afternoon to everyone, and I have Evangelist BP in the studio here with me. Good afternoon, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you doing, Joe? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. So, how's everything going? Everything's going very well. So, I was yesterday. How did you spend it yesterday? Um, the, the inauguration of President Obama in Eastern Britain? Yeah, of course. I watched a couple of friends here and watching the TV, and we are really, really having a nice time together. Okay, I mean, it's good. I mean, he's the 40, uh, 44th um, yeah, well, president, black president of the United States. That's cool. cool. I'm telling you, everyone was happy. Very, very happy. And for those who don't know, Evergen DP, can you please introduce yourself to a listener, please? Okay, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, on the VOA, one of the best radio stations, as you know, right now. My name is Evangelist BP. You know, the BP nation is from Bumi Popola. And uh, feel free to call me and ask me what you want to know about me because I'm not the kind of guy that likes to talk much about this. <laughs> I can feel you. Okay, before we go on, can you tell, uh, tell us more about yourself so people can call in? I'm black, I'm yeah. tall, I'm cool. Um, yeah, as you know, I'm a female. I'm, I'm not a female, I'm a male. Exactly. Okay. People can definitely find out through your, through your voice. <laughs> yeah, of course. You sound like an energetic person. Yeah, man, that's for me. Okay, I won't, how long have you been doing this gospel, gospel music for? Yeah, I've been doing gospel for a very long time, and I would say probably maybe like four or five years now. Okay, okay. Although it doesn't start from gospel, you know, it starts from the mainstream. Mainstream. And um, from there, you know, we got the call and we update, you know, we upgrade the stuff. Okay, okay. And you're not single. You're a rapper. Yeah. And I have your album in front of me right now. Uh, the, the title of the album is called uh, In the Name of Almighty. Yeah. And so, I mean, because I, I know that most of the gospel heart is normally single anyway, you know. I know. So, I mean, how did you become a rapper? Uh, as I said, you know, I used to be signed with Sony Music back there, you know, way back in Sweden. So uh, that's all where all the other things started. Okay. And uh, as a rapper those days, I worked with a lot of big artists down there in Sweden. You know, in Sweden. So, yep. Yeah. So the other things started like, okay, now I can do this, and I want to do it for the Lord. Okay. Okay. So how did people, people from your congregation, how did they find it? Of course, in the beginning they looked like, oh, how can you put mainstream bit with the gospel song? I say it's very simple. Okay. Because it's still the same thing. If you look at it, R and B, hot stuff from church too. Definitely, definitely. And they take right. the R and B bits and they put mainstream lyrics on it. Exactly. So I'm doing the same thing. I take the mainstream bit and I put gospel raps on it. Because I remember it was an early, early night of mid ninety. You remember Kurt Franklin? Yeah, Kurt Franklin. Kurt yeah. Franklin's music was bumping up every in the club. You of know, course. I remember that, and not to forget Mary Mary as well. So, yeah, you're right. so I think maybe the reason why people were kind of talking about the way you you go in the time of your music because the sound you use more there will be hip hop, hip hop mainstream, bass. mainstream bass. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I have one here. Let's just play to our listener to listen to to what you're working for. West Five Three Nine Four Point Three. I'm gonna put that to you out the people to judge. Uh, Evangelist BP and Lou Evangelist BP. Uh, what's the situation? Uh, do you know Almighty? How do you get that together? You know, it's, it's like this. You know, while I was in the studio, you know, I said, okay, this for the gospel mission, you know. And you know, the Bible says, in his name, all nation bow down. So I can't, I can't come on it like, okay, in the name of Almighty. And the crowd goes, amen. Okay. You know, because we have to use the music as a message. You know, you can pray at the same time, but you can sing your prayer. Definitely, yeah. Yep. So, okay, I have another one to clap your hand. But before this, how long have you been in Sweden? I've lived in Sweden, let's say, like 16 years. 16 years. That would be like... 90s, early 90s? 92. 92, 92, I get it right. So, do you, I mean, uh, do you, uh, do they have church? Sorry, I know you have church in, 
in Sweden, of course. So is is uh, you running all this? What are nah, I put somebody there now. You know, I put a partner pastor. You know. Okay. So what are you doing in London right now? Right now in London, I'm trying to get my feet, you know, to get a space where I can stay, which I got apartment today. You know, I mean a oh, house. Okay, you know, yeah. like this duplex stuff. So <laughs> yeah, you know, it's very difficult. But uh, we can't go to speak me. But uh, I try to get the message. You know, to to spread the message to win more soul, because that's the whole mission. Okay, but well, do you produce this track by yourself? Yeah, I produce it by myself, but with one of those guys in Sweden, which happened to be one of the top three producers. Because I don't got all the equipment, but I know what I want and I know how to not to push the So it's more like a producer at the same time? Of course, I can produce. produce. Okay, okay, okay. So you came from a producing background? Of course. I've been producing now maybe oh, right well, since when I was in Lagos. Oh, okay, you know. okay, okay, okay. So definitely, you must be. I mean, I mean, you must meet a lot of people back in Nigeria then. Uh, of course, some of, of course, these artists. Okay, okay, for example, before we go further, what do you think about the music going on, the, uh, the music theme going on in, in Nigeria right now? You know, it's like a volcano, you know. Everybody knows one day it will erupt. So yeah, it has erupt now in Africa. You know, if you, could, you know, sometimes when I look at the some, you know, TV station and I see the music they play, they, I'm very proud and wow. It's happening. It's very, 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 very happening. Yeah. Especially we have like AIT and Bain TV bringing all those um, um, artists. That's cool. I mean, living. It's good. Okay. Uh, what is the movement of gospel uh, rap uh, out there in Sweden? It's not so big, and uh, the the attention is not so popular like that in the UK here. But uh, it's 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 all right. It's all right. Okay. Okay. West of Africa, Radio 94.3. Hello, Evangelist, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? I'll be enjoying the set with us here in the studio. Yeah, I'm very happy. So, yeah. so, so how did you find London? Well, London is a very nice place, and uh, there's a lot of African that makes you feel at home, you know? <laughs> so, so, okay, can I some, can you tell us more about Sweden? We haven't been there, because I've heard a lot of things about Sweden. That's a very cool place, clean and warm and everything. True. Yeah, so, do you, you think the same things happen here with you? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Sweden, you know, but uh, I feel kind of comfortable right here too because you know there's a lot of African food which we don't have back in Sweden, and uh, you know you like to grab the institution, you know. <laughs> but uh, that day, you know, it's more like I mean the minorities, you know, you belong to the minority. I mean, like like uh, foreigner. Okay, okay. So um, this is the, uh, this is another track. Clap your hands. What does that mean to you? Or to yeah, you know, we we, we get that idea from the Bible says, "Let's make a happy noise." A joyful noise. Okay. So then I was trying to tell the crowd, you know, clap your hand because the moment you clap your hand for Jesus, you know, then they make the devil ashamed. I say, clap your hand and show Jesus love. Clap your hand, let the devil be ashamed because when the devil is ashamed in your life, then you succeed. <laughs> if he's happy in your life, then you got, you know, you are in for it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Before we go further, um, evangelist, can you tell us more about this particular one? I am a sinner. Yeah, of course, you know, in the studio, when we're kicking this track, you know, it comes like, you know, the Bible says, He will cover his sin, okay, will never prosper. So you have to confess your sin. So how can you do it? As I say, all, every, all the track is a prayer, and you can sing it. Like I say, I'm a sinner, so I've confessed my sin. Yeah. And I want everybody to do that, too, because you keep saying, God, Father, forgive me, forgive me, but you don't mean it. So when you <laughs> sing it, you know, and as I say, many people have told me they like that track so much. And I say, well... That's the mission. Remember, I said something in hell. Like, oh, there's this uh, music going on here in the UK right now called Grime. It sounds like a grind, grind tune, you know? Uh, you know, the first time I saw your album, I was looking at the, uh, at the cover, and I'm like, hold on. It is Evangelist BP, and one of our producers was telling me that you need to see this man. He's blinking hard, and, and he also. You were born again anyway. <laughs> born again. But it doesn't matter. Because a lot of people think, I guess I played this tune to speak, but they said, Are you sure this man is a pastor? I said, Don't worry about that. I'm going to put him on here today so we can have a conversation yeah, yeah. concerning the album. And you know, I don't feel you, you know, because there's a lot of, in here in the UK right now, there's a lot of artists coming up, you know, in grime and hip hop and RB. Because a lot of people associate with RB than, than rap people. But back in the day when I used to listen to um, the gospel hip hop, I'm like, what is people trying to do? Are they trying to get into the real hip hop? They want to use, are they trying to use the avenue to get into the, you know, the worldwide hip hop? So actually, I'm really, really loving this one right now. So are you, I mean, uh, so, uh, so who do you work with in this album? If you go anybody that feature you on this album? Actually, you know, because we have a little forms, you know, so we don't want to take it to another level in that area because, you know, it costs a lot. And in Sweden, if okay. I've been in UK, you know, it'll be cheaper, but in that area, it's expensive. Ow. Ow. 
I mean, to get a future, you know, like a producer to work with you on extra level on an artist, they can charge you straight up like thirty thousand pounds. Each of you. Straight, man. You know, if you look at it, Sweden is a very small country with a big noise. Mm. You know, after you keep come Sweden, when it comes to music exportation, so everybody know the marketing system and they know the kicks on it. So okay, they, okay. We don't want to do that. So like I got a talent that God gave me, so let me use it to worship Him and to win some soul for His. So where can he get his album? Right now, you know, I haven't got the marketing system for it because you know I was like, okay, every time has to be in order, and uh, I don't want to rush it. Okay, sorry, because I'll be I'll be saying album, uh, album, album. Is this an album or a mixtape? It's an album. Album. Okay. Promo. Okay. Promo. Album yeah. promo. Right. Yeah, for very soon we're gonna put it on them on the website, you know, like iTunes, you understand? iTunes, yeah. Or yeah. on my website, like a PayPal, because a lot of people have been asking this question. Like, I'll be performing somewhere on Saturday, mm. and the pastor told me, yeah, my church member have been asking me, where can they buy the CD? I said, hold on, when the time comes, I'll let them know, because everything is a lot of money, money, money. It's like, I will be happy, you know. Of course, oh, yeah. if the money comes, that's good, but definitely, I mean, definitely, we want that. We yeah. want that in our life. So, uh, what if are you taking this? Okay, okay. So, this like promo right now. Yeah. It's no how yet. So, we are playing it. Yep, we are playing it. Okay, okay, nice one. So, let me see another one I have. Have you got any one particular that you really love? You want to yeah, people like this track now, and track I've been nine. saying it all the time because that's my favorite. I say that every morning. I've sing it today, I will sing it this afternoon, I'll sing it tonight. Okay, you hear the force here, voice of Africa, nine four hundred. I'm gonna be holding with Evangelist BB, my name is Larry on work and happen. Listen to this one. Where all right music of Evangelist BB is still here with me. All right, all right. What does it mean to you, sir? We made the track. We made the track. You know, because I mean if you look at it, everybody wants to have a better tomorrow. Definitely. So every time I keep saying it, you know, because you know the Bible says whatever you say with your mouth, that's what I will do for you. Okay. But so I always say my tomorrow shall be alright. <laughs> so and I believe it shall be alright. So this track is one of favorite. favorite it's one tracks. of my favorite. I know when I was writing this track, I meant it so much. I mean other tracks too, but I love this one I do with a lot of passion. That's why I'm I mean, do the mainstream bass. How did it take you to, to finish this track? Because you say you love this track so much. And... <laughs> <laughs> of course, you no. Know, with the talent is flowing around your blood, so it takes me maybe like a day and a half. Oh, I don't want to have a day and a half. A day and a half. Yeah. Oh, well, well, I mean, I mean, it's looking good. I also have other, I mean, other trouble. Keep enjoying this one. Be back. Yes, sir. How you doing, bro? I'm fine, bro. I have a reason. Reason yeah. of what? Well. Reason, you know, of, course, of course, of course. You have reason. This way, you know, when I was reading this track, you know, I just feel relaxing in the front of the table, and I was like. Life is good, and I have a good reason to thank the Lord because sometimes we don't thank Him, we keep asking and asking. Asking for more and more, more, more and more, you know, like Oliver Twist, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, sorry to say that, but the point that, you know, when you thank Him, you know, of course I've thanked Him, but I want you to know that I have a reason to thank Him. Yes, sir. So that's why the track come up. That's my enjoy this one. How are you doing, sir? How are you doing? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. So, between here, um, in Sweden, and here, where, where which place uh, 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 the coldest part? Cold, cold here. Of course, <laughs> it is cold, as you know that. So it's colder than in Sweden. That is cold because you know, like when the weather was like so cold, like three weeks ago, a lot of people were cheering. I was like, and I was going out, and my friends said, "Okay, you got to put the jacket on." I said, "It's okay, bro." <laughs> and right there, I was letting him know, could take it easy." So I called Sweden, you know, on my mobile phone to talk with my son, and I told him to talk with him, and he told him the weather. Wow. So he was like, "Wow." I said, "Okay, that's from." So okay, it's good here, but I love the weather here because. So you don't feel that at all then? No, it's good for me, it's good for me. <laughs> Trust me, it's not good for me, my brother. <laughs> I, I feel it on my forehead that it's cold, you know. Okay. But I mean, I'm not shaving on that. Okay, okay. And Evangelist um, BP, um, I'm glad that you come. And yeah. I hope you will see me here again. Yeah, so Evangelist BP, it's already here. So people watch out for Evangelist, Evangelist BP, BP. It's a rapper and it's going to be here one more time again. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you, man. This is Voice of Africa Radio, 94.3 FM.